everybody. Thanks for joining me for a look at our weekend forecast for February 27th and 28th as we end the month of February and head towards March. Uh, weather is looking uh, um, a little more spring-like, even though we are going to see a bit of snow on uh, tomorrow. We're going to take a, a pretty extensive look at our uh, relatively small, small snow event tomorrow, which will also mix with some rain. Um, and then uh, we'll have some warmer temperatures on Sunday and maybe a chance of a, some brief sprinkles in the afternoon. So let's take a quick look at what's going on on the surface map. Oop, let me move this so that you can see me. Um, so you can see we've got high pressure dominating our weather currently, but this high pressure system is moving out. Um, a ridge is building in and we'll, we'll see on the satellite imagery that we've got lots of moisture and some weak low pressure uh, developing along the Gulf Coast that's going to head in our direction. Um, oftentimes when you get a storm developing down here, you'd think it's, uh, it's going to really roar up the coast and become a big storm. Um, and we do have reinforcing uh, energy to our northwest, but they are not going to be strong enough to come together. Um, the models for a while, especially a week, week and a half out, wanted to make this into a really big storm. And the reason are the ingredients are there, but they're not going to quite come together. You can see there's no connection here and they're not going to come together uh, at, um, over the east coast to really give us a big storm. Um, and so our storm and weather is going to come from this. This is, you can see the subtropical jet stream here. Um, and the subtropical jet stream does, uh, is not known for being uh, overly cold. Um, here's where your colder air is. Actually, your colder air is kind of here. But um, here's your colder piece of energy. Um, so this piece is warmer, which is why we're going to get some rain mixed in with the snow. Um, maybe a little bit of sleet and freezing rain in the transition as well, but I don't think that much of that. Um, on the 500 millibar uh, um, <clears throat> map, you can see as well why that's happening. We've got this ridge building across the east where you've got ridge. It's allowing some of that warm air to start to creep up from the southeast into the northeast. And we've been relatively warm anyway, although it's a little cooler this morning than it was uh, the last couple days as um, we had a bit of a one, a little bit of a weak front move through on uh, yesterday. So um, in terms of what that looks like for the weekend, uh, we got snow mixing with rain, especially below 1,000 feet, mostly snow above 2,000 feet. Lows in the mid-20s, highs in the upper 30s. Roads could be slick, mostly above 1,500 feet on Saturday. And then Sunday, cloudy with a slight chance of sprinkles in the afternoon. Um, we'll be lows in the low 30s. We'll be in the low 40s, mid-40s in the valley locations on Sunday. And uh, not much sun, unfortunately, but it will be relatively warm. Um, just if you haven't subscribed, I'd encourage you to subscribe. This will be right before we take a quick look at the... Uh, details of our snow forecast and the snow map um, for uh, tomorrow. So if you haven't done that, hit that subscribe button. Uh, there's also a bell next to it if you want to get push notifications to your phone. Uh, in terms of how much snow we're looking for, this is not a big event. You can see basically elevation dominant, uh, one to two inches across most of the higher elevations here uh, in central or in uh, southern Vermont. Uh, two to three inches in the real high peaks, you know, we're talking the ski areas, basically going to get two to three inches of snow. They'll stay mostly snow. Uh, where you see the one to two inches, there'll probably be some rain mixed in. And then up to an inch uh, in the more Valley locations uh, in the Connecticut River Valley. And also if you head west into the Champlain Valley, the Route 7 corridor, places like that. So uh, that's what we're looking for. It's not that big a deal. Um, weather looks, uh, continues to be active as we head into next week. So I'll be back on Sunday. Uh, or sorry, on Monday morning with a look at the work week forecast. Um, and if anything dramatic changes, I'll be back before then. If you have any questions, always ask on uh, Facebook Messenger, or you can certainly send me an email, and I'd be happy to get back to you. Otherwise, uh, thanks for following my uh, uh, thanks for following my forecasts, and also want to give a quick shout out to my patrons who help support what I do here. Um, and if you want to become a patron, there's a video that pops up at the end of this um, that gives you some information about what that's like. Um, or you can just follow the link and there's a description on my Patreon page about being a patron. Um, basically, it's a way to help support uh, what I do here and also a way to um, uh, for you to get some insider information uh, and uh, our early look of the weekend forecast uh, as well. So, all right. Uh, thanks, everybody. And we'll be back, like I said, on Monday morning.